let's talk about software engineering salaries. And we're gonna start with how much software engineering interns can make in the Netherlands. Hey, this is Gary with The Pragmatic Engineer, and this is the first in a series of videos where I talk about software engineering salaries with numbers, with company names. So the way I gathered these salaries is I reached out to the community asking for information about software salaries and people responded from across Europe. Now, as a first baby step, I'm gonna share some software engineering intern salaries that I vetted and that look like they represent the market. Disclaimer, these salaries were in the past, they might've changed since then and so on, but I hope it gives a good indication. So a few data points. Typical Dutch companies will pay between two to 500 euros a month, plus they might reimburse travel. And I've heard from a person who got 200 euros a month for their internship, Ticket Swap supposedly before COVID paid 500 euros a month, and they had a perk that you could buy tickets cheaper, they would waive their commission fee. TomTom, Tom, also 500 a month. And Philips and Eindhoven, 900 a month, but only if you're coming from abroad. So this might have not applied for Dutch people. So all in all, some money for internships. And given that in the Netherlands, internships are required to finish your studies, this might make sense, right? You might think, well, you know, the interns will come anyway, so let's just honestly give them as little as we can. It's a very capitalist approach. And it's not just these companies. Almost every company in the Netherlands have been paying interns as little as they can and often just not paying them at all. The interns want this experience and the companies think, well, you know, I'm getting some free labor. I'm helping the interns out by internships. So that's that. Now, not every company thinks like this. US companies who are opening offices in the Netherlands think a little bit differently and they pay differently as well. So let's look at what this means specifically. Amazon will pay 3,800 per month plus 800 with housing, which is actually tax-free. Uber will do around 4,000 euros and 1,000 euros in housing. If you add up the numbers, this will account for a gross salary of around 60,000 euros per year, which is pretty high in the Netherlands. Now, I was running inter programs at Uber, and although I didn't submit this number, the numbers are roughly in the ballpark. If you're a student or a recent grad in the Netherlands or Europe, you might be really surprised at how high these numbers are. On the other hand, if you're from the US, you're probably not even blinking an eye because Amazon and Uber pay about $10,000 per month for internships on the West Coast and sometimes on the East Coast as well. So what is going on? What is the reason of the difference? The mentality is completely different between the traditional Dutch slash European way of thinking about internships and the US way of thinking about internships. The traditional European way of thinking about internships, oh, we're doing these students a favor and they're bringing a little bit of free work. So, you know, it's gonna be a win-win. The US way of thinking about internships, we wanna hire the best people. So we're gonna pay them well. We're gonna get them a lot of responsibility and we're gonna hope that they see what it's like working at this company and they're gonna come back. Now at Uber, pretty much 100% of the interns who worked out got a return offer and they accepted it without thinking. A lot of them didn't even interview around because the salaries were in the range where they knew they probably couldn't get the matching. And there's a second interesting part of what happens when you pay interns really well. As a hiring manager, I knew that my interns were costing almost the same amount of money as new grads, so I gave them work that I would give for new grads. Now, if I would have known that these interns are pretty much for free, I might have just put them on a pet project, you know, they're, they're super cheap, maybe just give them some work that is just honestly a hassle to do. I didn't want to waste any of the expensive resources. I knew these people were valuable. I knew they were smart. They're also hungry to get things done. So the funny enough, the better you pay software engineers, including interns, the more interesting work they might get. Now, this does not mean that you're going you're gonna to not get interesting work at companies where you intern for free, but your perceived value will be what it is. It's free or 200 euros a month. It's not a big deal. You know, don't worry about it. If this person doesn't do productive work, it's not costing us anything. So this mentality of what are interns? Are they an investment? And are we investing in them, making sure they have a great experience, compensating them really well, even if it is above the market versus, oh, we're doing you a favor because you can come an intern here and we're going to pay you the very bare minimum. You should be lucky that you're here. It's a very big difference. And in the next couple of videos, I'm going to share a lot more numbers about software engineers, senior software engineer, principal software engineering salaries. Spoiler alert. We're going to see some of the same things play over and over again on how US and modern thinking companies think about software engineers as investment. They know how much value these software engineers can generate and they have no qualms to pay for that value. Whereas more traditional European tech companies, they often will think, oh, it's a privilege that we're employing these people and, you know, we're giving a stable paycheck. Like that's a big deal. They should probably be happy with that. Now, the software engineering market is changing rapidly, especially in Europe. 
salaries and compensation is going up. Stay tuned for our next videos where I actually show you just by how much. If you currently don't have a job and you're looking for a job in tech, I wrote a book called The Tech Resume Inside Out, which is free for any software engineer without a job, including if you're in school and you're applying for jobs. You can get that book in the link below. Thanks and stay tuned for the next videos on software engineering salaries in Europe.